Okay, so I want to talk about this uh, fish filter I got here. This is one of those cheap eBay uh, Sun Sun. This is uh, HW304B. Can you hear that? That's what I want to talk about. These things uh, suck air in somehow. Now, there's a there's an O-ring that runs all the way around inside here that um, you have to replace periodically, and there's also O-rings in here which have been replaced. Uh, so, let me see how it keeps doing that. So, this is preventable. Now, I noticed it usually does this when the filter is more or less even with the, the water level here. Now, if you put it down below, which is where I used to have it. I actually used to have, so there it goes again. I used to have two of these, but uh, one of them actually started leaking, and uh, I have since discontinued it. So I have uh, two 40 gallon tanks here and uh, I've got some uh, aqua clear filters on there now because of these uh, failures on these these filters so it just keeps doing it. Now if I sit here and if I shake this thing up see if I can grab a hold of this. You can see all the air coming through it. If I turn it so I can push it with one hand. all that air that's in there now this filter has been on here for about two years now so this is nothing new so what happens is um, if you have them down below the uh, the force of the the water level uh, will find the easiest way out and what I noticed oddly was that when the power goes out uh -huh. So I live way on the woods, and when the power goes out, it does it fairly frequently. Something something happens with the way the pressures are inside, and it'll start leaking in between the uh, the main seal here, and it'll also start leaking up here. So this one here was uh, turned off. I I couldn't I couldn't trust it anymore because uh, what happened was power went out as usual and it just started leaking and I just happened to to notice it luckily and uh, so that's why that one over there is in a uh, plant dish in case it leaks a little bit but that one hasn't started leaking fully like this one did but uh, I couldn't I couldn't keep it on and plugged in and uh, leave the house and um, expect not to come back to 40 gallons of water on my on my floor so that's why I have the uh, aqua clears I guess they're flubles whatever those are 70s you know just your standard old filter these tanks have been running for about two years now so everything's kind of equaled out but I don't really have any issues with these except for Every once in a while, the pickup tubes will get clogged up, but that's that's not a big deal. But um, if anybody has these uh, Chinese Sun Sun canister filters and uh, it keeps sucking air in like that, uh, you're not alone. It's not like it's a huge deal. It's more of an annoyance than anything. But that's what the that's what the deal is. You can make it quit doing it, but you have to put it down low. And when you put it down low, there's a chance that it'll just start leaking. Now I've put O-rings in them, you know, I've, I've put the put Vaseline on them, petroleum jelly, I've put silicone lubes, all kinds of different stuff on there. None of it, none of it is satisfactory to the point where I would trust it. So when the power goes out now, the water level is basically, you know, the same head height, so it doesn't, it doesn't leak, but, you know, I guess that's what you get when you buy the cheap crap. That's why some of the uh, more expensive canister filters are four or five hundred dollars. I guess that's what you're paying for is that satisfaction. So, there you have it.